do something kind of pale and ginger. I'll do that. <laughs> talking points okay so what this video is about and why which video <laughs> we have three videos going on right now okay the flapjack that oh love it. that's a good one <laughs> okay so if you guys may remember we were traveling with Eleanor Tar and Eleanor Tar had a kid on board Ori one of the few children I like being around yeah, he was awesome. And in order to get Ori used to us before meeting us, Tim and Allie introduced him to our YouTube videos. So he learned about us and our boat before he even ever met us in person. And he loved our boat name. You know what I'm saying? It is, most people don't know. Flapjack Octopus. What he ended up doing was he basically used flapjack as a verb, like before he met us and then throughout like sailing with us. And it's mostly shit that he didn't want to do. Like, flapjack that or <laughs> I'm not flapjack and doing it. It's almost like like <laughs> Yeah, he made like, a that. replace word for <laughs> Yeah, like a kid dad version. This shit, dad yeah. flapjack this. Yeah, so we decided to name this episode Flapjack That because we're going to trade roles on the boat. So there's stuff that we generally do and we're gonna swap it. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Okay. So we hope you enjoy. Okay, today I'm going to be cooking lunch. Which I never do. I'm going to be cooking a cabbage tomato dish that Spencer usually makes with rice. The first thing you do is check out your ingredients. Make sure you have rice. We got lots of kind of rice here. That's good. I pick the one that's not popcorn. Then you grab the wrong size measuring cup. In this instance, I'm using a three quarter instead of a cup. Uh, try to dump as much rice in a sink as possible. Gather the rest of your ingredients uh, from the name of the dish is cabbage rice. Uh, so we gotta make sure you get a cabbage. And, uh, onion will probably be helpful. And uh, if you have any other produce, just leave them up there. Uh, once you cut into your vegetables, make sure they're not rotted. If they are, tune them up and still use them because we're on a budget. Yeah, it looks better already. Here we go. Uh, slice like you've never ever cut anything ever before. Just, just cut the rind, cut the edges off. Just find the middle bit. The middle bit's the part you want. Like make it look like an apple, but pretend that it's also an onion. Slice them in large three quarter inch cubes. It's like a like a mega dice. Make sure you preheat your oil. That's a good tip. Right, keep that one. Put all the stuff in the pan. Uh, stir. Make sure you stir. Stirring's important. More stirring. Good, good, good. And, and you know, give it a couple more stirs. Uh, take take your cat and look for eggs. Find the oldest can of tomatoes. Um, Preferably rusty on the bottom. Get that ready. Uh, stir some more. Make sure you stir. Stirring, 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 stirring. Making big things into small things. Check the rice. Rice is still in the pot. That's good. You don't want to get any moisture out of the pot. Tap it like your drum. Dun 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 dun. Like you're like you're in a band. Stir again. Make sure you stir. Peel peel off the cabbage. All the all the bad bits. Keep peeling. Stir again. Yep. Let's get it tight. Stir, stir, stir. Rice is still good. Give it a tap. And stir again. Can't emphasize stirring enough. All right, put that away. Put that in the dirty sink for now. Peel more cabbage you started previously. Pile's getting big. Throw some on the ground. Yep. More stirring. Get a couple taps in there. And stir. Stirring is the most important part of cooking. Nope, we're back to chopping. Chop it up. Do that three quarter inch dice we talked about, the big dice. It's like macro dicing, like when they say do a fine chop and make it big. Uh, open up the can far away from the food. I'm back to stirring with one hand this time because we're perfectionists on the stirring. If you're confused on the amount you should put in of a can, just put the whole can in. Just, yeah, the whole thing. And then that giant cabbage pile that's overflowing, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Yeah, but like, pretend like you never use a cutting board. Like, don't pick it up with a cutting board. Maybe put some paper towel on, stack the cabbage on that because you want to transfer piles and then still dump half it on the floor. Get the paper towel cabbage, put that in back on the cutting board because we didn't cut it yet in that three quarter inch dice. Cut it up, put it in the pan. I feel like I forgot to tell you we should be stirring right yeah, there. We're back to stirring. Stir it some more. I mean, this is the time where I would think about yeah, get, get some spices. We're going to put all the pepper in there. We're going to do a little bit of, what is that, Italian seasoning? That's good. That's a nice touch. And, you know, the garlic gives me explosive diarrhea, but I know that Spencer likes it, so we're going to go ahead and put a lot of garlic on there. Smelling it? Good. I got to check. More stirring. And now we're at the point where we wait. We just kind of hang out. We're going to look around the boat a little bit. Rice is done. Looks good. A little on the soggy side. We're gonna dish up. 
Plating's really important. We're all about presentation on the boat. And here we go. Oh, I gotta turn the stove off. Make sure you always turn the stove off. You don't want to burn your, your damn boat over some f***ing food. Oh, look how proud she is. Look at that. There you go. How was it? It's good. Really? Yeah. What? It's a little on the crunchy side, but it's not all good. How's the flavor? Mmm. Salt's on point, B. I will say, uh, after cooking one meal, flapjack that. Flapjack <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, I will be checking the weather, which I have never done. Um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm back at that, B. Okay, so Brina's always making a big deal about weather and where the wind's coming from and which direction and where we need to anchor based on that and we can't sail heavy winds, all that stuff. I take a more hands-off approach, just sail whatever weather is coming at me, but today I'm going to show you how to weather walk. First, you type in weather and then for the area that you're in. I'm currently in the Exumas. This is going to give you the temperature, okay? Now that doesn't tell you much, so you're going to then you're going to type in, you need to know the wind, okay? So you're going to need to know how windy it is, okay? So we just go and we type in uh, windy. Windy. Oh, a little misspelling there. <laughs> windy. And that pulls up a website that gives you a lot of colors, okay? These colors correspond with the wind and the wind speed. Or no precipitation. No, I don't know. Okay, ignore the colors. Just look at the lines. See the lines where all the lines are moving to? Like, find your location. Okay, which is very near Florida. Okay, pause for a second. You know, she's never gonna know. I'm just gonna go ahead and this wind finding shit. I'm going to look at a trawler. Damn, yeah. No more weather watching for me. Look at these things. Yeah, these are nice. I'm liking this idea. How much is a trawler? Not bad, man. All right. Well, maybe a change of plans is in order. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try a different site. Passage weather. I know this is a good site. We've used this before. So you pick your area, and then it has a lot of little L's. Okay, and that, those L's, the direction that they're in, is where the wind is coming to or from. Where the wind's coming from. And however many little bottom parts of the L's there are, that tells you the wind speed. This one has two bars, so that means it's a stronger wind. So I'm go ahead and take this days of the week paper, and I'm going to not use it for that purpose at all. I'm just going to uh, make my own sheet. I'm going to divide three of them into rectangles. And then from there, I'm going to look at the colors and look at the L's. I'm going to assume that's where the one's coming from. That makes more sense, I think. Yep, I'm going to do that. Okay, so then you write the wind speed and the direction that it's going to or coming from down into each rectangle. Just write it in that very small rectangle even though you have the entire page in a scribe that only you can interpret and understand so that no one else will be able to decide where you're going and when. And that's how you check the weather, guys. Good on you. Cheers. I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> this thing, every click is four inches. What? Every click is four inches. It is? And you have 50 feet. That sucks. Okay, so today I'm gonna, I'm picking the anchor up. Normally it's not my gig. Uh, it's really heavy. There's a lot of clicking. Uh, I was recently informed that you only get four inches per click. That seems that seems like it's not the best. So keep clicking. You know what? It, better if we just went to the gym. Back to the back to the helm. New plan. We're gonna put it in gear, put the autopilot on, and we're just gonna we're gonna go up to the anchor, and then I'll I'll revisit the heavy chain. Turn the autopilot on. That's a that's a sweet idea. Wish the counterpart in this video would have thought of that. I'm still really tired, feeling a little out of shape, but we're making a lot of progress. I'm not sure why we're still clicking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down there and just kick the anchor, just kick it, and precariously hang off the boat. I mean, we have no health insurance. So this is probably a good place for me to be. Still kicking it. Okay, you, you really got to be careful on the top deck. There's cleats and all sorts of sharp, sharp stuff. It really affects our attitude too on the boat when we get hurt. And make sure you wash your feet. And I think we nailed it. And here you are. And you, you picked the anchor up. Good job. Yay!
How do you like single handing? I don't like it. <laughs> you ready? Nice job. You gotta say what you're gonna do. I ain't saying shit. What am I gonna say? Okay, I'm gonna try to anchor by myself. <laughs> I'm gonna anchor by myself. I like how for you I picked when it's like squally. <laughs> hey, it's you. You're trying to anchor by yourself. Okay, first you leave the helm. Doesn't matter which way direction you're going, you just get out of that cockpit as fast as you can. Go up to the bow. Don't take a winch handle. You should have brute strength enough to do this by hand. Let out the chain. Let out the chain. And I mean, I just let out as much as you have. Back to the cockpit. Slow it down. Then back down, full throttle. Full throttle. And you hook that son of <laughs> Yep, look around. And it's set. We hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. In order to subscribe, you have to be signed in and then after you hit subscribe, you hit the little bell so you get notifications every time we upload a video. Also, let us know if you like this goofy shit. Let us know if you like it. Tell me what you like, what you really, really like. <laughs> also, we want to thank the Walters. Uh, they were our first paid monthly subscribers. And that's awesome. Your first paid month subscribers, that's exciting. We really appreciate it because like all of this isn't free for us, but we like doing it. But it would be awesome if we could make a few upgrades. Like I really want to upgrade my editing software to something a little more elevated because I think I'm growing out of iMovie. We have uh, on our webpage a place where you can subscribe or buy merchandise and any and all help is really appreciated. If you're into it, check it out. Yeah, if you appreciate the videos we make, then it'd be awesome if you could pitch in just to help us elevate it to the next level. Yeah, I mean, $2 a month, that's not. You could find that on the street. Like within two, oh, a month. Oh, daily lattes. <laughs> like walking down the sidewalk. Okay, if you're walking just around. Just kick it that, kick it that. Kick that our way. If you find any street money and you'd like to throw it our way. Give us your street money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bryce. Thanks, Bryce. See you next week. Also, the vultures happen to be my parents, so, mom and dad. <laughs> for being our first. Still floating that shit. Yeah. <laughs>